Hi folks, hope you're all doing well. Ultimate Blister 2. Is there the fabled myth of liftoff oversteer in Ultimate Blister 2? Does it exist? Can the Madness engine do liftoff oversteer? Uh, well, coming up in this video. Right, here we go. Oh, look! Oh! <laughs> ah! Oh, look, we've hit a wall because we had a ton of liftoff oversteer. <laughs> so, uh, there's going to be plenty of that. Um, right, now, so if you've been on Facebook, YouTube, uh, race department forums, reason forums recently, this has been a subject of major debate. And, and I just want to, just want to, just want to put this to bed a bit, okay? And the way I'm going to do this, it, many people have many opinions on this. This is not going to be my opinion. Uh, I've done a little test. Um, so this is going to be proof. Um, I love Automobilista 2. Absolutely love it. Um, and also, at times, it's made me feel a bit... As many of the sims, in fact, pretty much all of them are. We all know that Automobilista 2 has its issues. And it's not perfect. Same as all of them. But does have liftoff oversteer. So what I've done is I've done a side-by-side -side comparison of some cars within Automobilista 2 by Reason Studios and also a set of course of composition by Qnos Simulations. Uh, I'd have loved to have done a, a, a comparison with all of them. You know, R Factor 2, uh, Original AC, but it would just be too long a video. And I've, I, I've tried to show you in, in a few different cars. So we've got GT4s, GT3s. And when you do a side-by-side -side comparison, it's quite surprising when you find out that actually Automobilista 2 in certain cars even has slightly more liftoff oversteer. Um, the default setup of any car in any sim is always going to be different. Um, I don't know why this is, but I should imagine it's because when they get their information, they get it from a certain team who has the car set up in a certain way. Another uh, simulation might get their information from another team who's got the same car but they have a different driver at a different track on that day and it's i don't know but they're all different so what i've done is i have gone into both sims and i have set up the car to be at the i've let it go as far as the game will let me push it so things like camera angles things like uh anti-roll bars suspension uh differential settings tire tire pressures I have, I, have, I have pushed everything as far as it would go to give me the most extreme liftoff oversteer setup. And yes, I do agree with a lot of the things that are being said, actually. Automobilista 2, by default, is very understeery. But it's certainly there. So, uh, I'm going to shut up now because I do tend to waffle. But if you want liftoff oversteer, it's there. Um, so, let's start off with an example from Assetto Corsa Composition. All right, so here we are in Assetto Corsa Competizione by Qnos Simulations, and we are at Snetterton. We are in a McLaren 720S GT3 car, and I have given it a, an absolutely ridiculous liftoff oversteer setup. I've, got, I've gone as far as the game will let me go with the setups. And uh, down on the, in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you should be able to see coming up in green now. There's my throttle input in green. And in red, just below that, you should see my brake input. For all of these comparisons, I'm not going to be using any ABS or any traction control in either sim. And uh, uh, you want to keep an eye on my throttle and brake inputs because as you're going to see, to induce this oversteer, I am not going to use the brakes. I may use the brakes after the event to you know, stop the car from crashing into a wall uh, or something like that uh, because I am going to be trying to, the setup should induce, you know, scary liftoff oversteer. But there's going to be no brakes used and you can see that I'm just literally going to come off the throttle as we steer into the corners. So all we're going to do is get this car to the first corner and we'll see what this ridiculous liftoff oversteer looks like. Here we go, and turn in. Uh, okay, okay, don't hit the wall. Oh, don't hit the wall. Ah, oh, we just touched it. 
But there you go, you get the idea. It's, it's just some pretty severe lift off oversteer. As you can see, I didn't touch the brake. So let's try a low speed corner. It's tight right handed down here. Let's slow the car down a bit. And let's turn her in. Look at that, all the way around. Like, like, like pulling the handbrake on. Okay, so let's try one more sort of medium speed corner. Okay, and I'm just going to turn in. I'm just going to come up the throttle, turn in, round we go, and yeah. Who would want a car set up like that? <laughs> Pretty scary. So that's the McLaren 720S GT3 in Assetto Corsa Composizione. Okay, so here we are, this time in Automobilist 2 by Reza Studios. And once again, we're at Snetterton. Once again, we are in the McLaren GT3, the 720S. Uh, once again, you can see down the bottom here, there's my accelerator input in green. And uh, if I pop the car in the gear there, you can see my brake input in red. Once again, uh, let's just double check. Traction control and ABS are off. We're going to do exactly the same test. Uh, I've given the car, I've gone as far as the game will let me go with giving the car a ridiculous lift off oversteer setup. So, let's see what happens. So, not going to break, not going to break, and I'm going to turn in and lift off now. And, and, oh! <laughs> Missed the wall that time, but there you go. Plenty of lift off oversteer available there. Let's try the second low speed corner. See what happens down here. And lifting off, turning in, and yeah. Once again, we're pointing the wrong way. So, try that medium speed corner down here. Once again, just gonna lift off. Lift off now, there we go. And we're all the way around, and oh! Yeah, we hit the wall. <laughs> That's to be expected. Um, I've turned damage off for these tests. As you can imagine, damage being on for these tests. Yeah, I'd have to redo everything. Anyway, there you go, so let's try something else. All right, so here we are, back in Assetto Corsa Composizione. Same test, same format, this time we are in the Mercedes AMG GT3 car. Let's do it. Now this is front engine of course. So I don't let's, well we'll see what happens. Whoa! Okay. Massive lift off over sit and we'll hit a wall. So Let's try that second slow cut up. <laughs> oh, dearie me, I'm so professional. Spin around, go for that again. Let's try that slow corner. Come off the brakes and turn around. There we go. So I braked just before I came to that corner, just to slow the car down, then came off the brakes. You would have seen it all on my throttle inputs there. And then I initiated the turn. And still we got the lift off oversteer. So let's try it one more time. And there we go. So let's try that in Automobilista 2 now. So we're in Automobilista 2 again in the AMG Mercedes GT3 car. See what happens, guys. See what happens. Okay, here we go. Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> ah. Oh, look. We've hit a wall because we had a ton of lift off oversteer. <laughs> Automobilist 2 does not do lift off oversteer. Obviously, no lift off oversteer there whatsoever. So, slow corner, coming up the throttle now. 
Oh look, it's happened again. Uh, but will I end up spinning the car like I did in uh, <laughs> ACC because it's the Mercedes? Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Once again, I'm so professional. Right, I'm completing this test. We're doing this scientifically. Doing the same, same test in in all of the examples. Okay, and here we go. I'm not even bothered turning in too hard there. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, um, is that enough for you? No, let's carry on. <laughs> okay, so here we are in a set of course of compasses. Yoni, we are in the GT4 McLaren, the 570S. This car has much less adjustability than the GT3 cars. So I'm expecting less of a reaction out of this car. Two lift off oversteer, but I've gone as extreme as I can. Let's try it out. So approaching the corner and lifting off now. Whoa, okay, that's... Look, that's that's not really having it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, yeah, the McLaren, the GT4. Not not a big fan of lift off oversteer, is she? How about around here? Okay, not a lot. And this is with a with a wild setup. Okay, come on. No, nope, just not having it. Not really having it. Lost it a bit at the end there, but well, I wonder what that'll be like in a, in Audible Blister 2. Let's find out. Okay, McLaren 570S GT4 in Audible Blister 2. Oh, and the steering wheel turned the wrong way. Oh, and I've got my steering wheel set up wrong as well. Hang on. There we go. It's on the right preset now. Let's do it. Right. Lifting off. Now. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, didn't expect that. More! More lift up off oversteer! More! Wow! Okay. Uh, let's try this slow corner, see what happens. Coming up the throttle. Yeah. That was about the same as it was in ACC. Let's try the last corner where it just really wasn't having it in ACC. Lifting off. Pretty much the same as it was in ACC. Maybe a little bit more there as well. So, um, are we done yet? Are we done yet? No, let's carry on. Okay, so this time in ACC, uh, Santa Cruz Composition, let's go for the king of understeer, the Cayman Club Sport GT4. Let's see how crazy this car can get with it with a crazy tap this is this car really is the king of understeer so i'm not expecting much i haven't tried it with this setup so let's see what happens i am lifting now oh <laughs> okay i'm very shocked a little bit more understeer oversteer rather lift off oversteer than the McLaren there, the McLaren GT4. Let's try the slow corner. What are we doing about 60 there? And let's lift off, slow it down. And okay. A little bit more once again. And lifting off now. Okay, it's, yeah, wasn't really having it there until we got onto the grass. Okay, I wonder how that one will do in Automobilista 2. Only one way to find out, so 
Here we go, in Autumn Ballista 2. If I can get my steering inputs right. Okay. No idea what's going to happen. And lifting off. No! Oh! Okay, yeah, once again, um, quite a bit more lift off oversteer than the McLaren. Let's try the slower corner. Slow it down a bit, and... Well, that was almost, yeah, that was almost textbook compared to what happened in ACC. Let's try the last corner. There we go. Uh, we didn't hit the grass. I managed to turn in a bit earlier this time, uh, this time around, but yeah, very similar to ACC there. Um, I, so are we done yet? Um, no, let's see how much more Lift off oversteer we can find in Autumn Ballista 2 using some cars which aren't comparable to ACC because I want to move away from GT cars now. So, well, hmm. I know, how about an open wheeler Formula V? Not a lot you can do with the setup on this, but enough. So, let's see what this little rascal's like around the corners. No wing on the back. I'm expecting quite a lot of lift off oversteer. Even though she's quite a slow car, but lifting off now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, plenty of lift off oversteer there. I didn't even turn in that hard, actually. And then we hit the grass, which let the front wheel slide back out again. So. So we'll do the same as we do with the GT cars here. This about 50, 60 miles. Well, actually slower, 51. That was 51 miles an hour, and it's, it's almost come round like a like I pulled on the handbrake halfway on. So okay, let's get up to speed this time. And lifting off, turning in. Uh, now started to go around but then the front wheels hit the grass so let's carry on because I let the front wheels hit the grass that's that's down for my driving I'm gonna brake I'm gonna come off the brake and turn in oh look well folks there's there's certainly lift off oversteer if you want it in this car in automobilistic 2 how about this corner lifting off now Lift off oversteer, plenty available. Uh, come and get it whilst you can. Let's try something else. Well, this certainly is something else, completely different. This is the Metal Moro AGR Chevy V8. Uh, once again, with a ridiculous lift off oversteer setup. Let's see what this little beastie is like. Will it bite us? Oh, lovely V8. Oh. It's really on the exit right. Lifting off now. Whoa! <laughs> okay. That went straight out. The only thing that saved us from not spinning and spinning was the, the fact the front wheels hit the grass. Okay. Slow down, slow down. And yep, we're facing the wrong way. As you can see, no brake input or, or, or as we came into the corner. And it literally was like we pulled the handbrake on. Right. Okay. Yeah. There we go. I, I I'd call that quite a lot of lift off oversteer. Um. So I mean, there you go, folks. If you want lift off oversteer in automobilistic two, 
Far Reason Studios, it is most certainly available. I'm coming off the brakes, I'm turning, and look, might as well have, you know, so much lift off oversteer, it's like you've pulled the handbrake on. Let's uh, try this one. Once again, facing the wrong direction. Imagine that on, on a really high speed corner. In fact, let's do that, why not? Let's see how, how lift off oversteery things can get on a really high speed corner. Because of course, you know, in the setup I've done everything I can to get this lift off oversteer. The same as I did in, I'm, I'm just turning very gingerly there. I wonder what it would be like through here, through Williams. Yeah, pretty severe, as I thought. Um, so yeah, I've done everything I can with the setup, set just like I did in the set course of competency only. That includes, this car's got a lot of aero, so that includes taking off as much rear wing as possible. So this is high speed, doing 140, I'm gonna brake a little bit. I'm gonna come off the brakes and turn in. How much lift off oversteer do you want? Um, I think I think I, I could go on like this all day, but I won't, because you've probably had enough of me waffling on now anyway. So yeah, so there's lift off oversteer available in Automobile 2. It can do it, it's just that it will not do it with the default setups. There are some cars in there you really wouldn't think you could get the back end out on at all without using loads of throttle. You, 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 you can. Some cars in the game are more or less oversteery, understeery than others. And it's not to say that there isn't, like for instance with McLaren GT3 uh, there, there's more lift off oversteer available, even though they sort of seem to behave the same. There's slightly more lift off oversteer available in ACC. Um, However, then you go to the, uh, the, the, the Porsche Cayman and the, the, the McLaren 570 and, and there's actually more in AMS too, go figure, right? Um, and, you know, maybe it doesn't feel that way because of the way the steering feels, but, but as you can see, there certainly is. I think that's, that's, that's proved it. I, I can't do anything more to prove it, really. You saw the pedal inputs and everything else there. Anyway, um, now, if you want to know how I did that, I'll make another video and uh, this one's taken pretty much half a day to make so if you take half a second to be a real chum and hit that subscribe button the big red subscribe button subscribe to my channel that would you have no idea how that would help me out i need subscribers like the earth needs water i really do so if you could do that be lovely and you'll get a, a notification of when that video comes out plus i've also got uh, the third part of my immersive sim racing video anyway um so yeah uh tell me what you think in the comments and uh yeah happy sim racing